Here's what we're doing now. Big, man. What was that? Boom, boom, boom. This is insane, dude. <laughs> oh, we're on, we're on. <laughs> oh, hey. Gonna give that to already get point. <laughs> this thing can actually bite you. <laughs> that is an absolute horse. Get it all in there. Oh. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to yet another goddamn video. Hey, we're going on a little bit of a fishing mission right now. And as normal, we are, uh, we're racing the sunset. Look at this sunset over here. I've got one of my mates out here having a flick. We're on a little bit of a tailor mission before that sun sets. And then uh, once it gets dark, we're gonna go walk along this shallow, shallow reef. And we're gonna scavenge up some of the best goddamn tasting food you'll ever see. So uh, get your bibs, get your napkins. We're going fishing, doggies. Here we go. First cast of the afternoon. Straight! Straight out there. Kick! Pa! Woo! Woo! Get him up, get him up! All right, we got fish on here, doggies. Old mate's fighting this fish. Come on. Got to get one up. Come on, come on. Say! Woo! Ba! Ba! <laughs> Oi, it's actually good luck when you cast a scream. Try it, try it. Yeah. See? It's good luck, man. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Look at the colours, man. Look at that colour over there, bruh. That's off its head. Full moon, crazy colours. Bruh, it's going to be a fun night, man. Real fun. Say! What do you got, mate? Snook him. A little bit of a snook. <laughs> That's when you know there's no tail around, eh? When you're catching those bloody things. Off he goes, eh? Where's all the bloody big tailor at? Man, I'm gonna go, I'm legit gonna go double jacket. It's that cold right now. All right, no luck on the rods. Old mate back here got a tailor and a little snook. I got absolutely nothing, but that's all right because we're not here to fish. Like I said, we're here to scavenge one of the best tasting little creatures off the reef tonight. So uh, we're gonna go chuck some jackets on, put these rods away, get out, get out another bit of fishing equipment, and we're just gonna hoof it down there in the nighttime. It's gonna be super fun, doggy. Stay tuned, get your bibs ready because the thing we're gonna catch is gonna be delicious. Wow. <laughs> all right, this is what we're doing now. We're setting up. We got out a couple of weapons. So this little bad boy here, if you don't know what it's called, it's called a Gigi. A little bit of jelly rubber on the end there. It's just a bloody pole with a stick on the, with a couple of spikes on the end. But this is what we're gonna be using, walking around out there, gathering ourselves up a bit of a feed. Look at that. That's gonna be naughty. Hey boys. How you going, buddy? How you going, mate? Oh, it's something like that, yeah. This is insane, dude. There are so many baby crayfish. We're not actually out here looking for crayfish, but there are so many. Look at this little fella here. That is a baby West Australian rock lobster. Doesn't even look real. Look at this, look at this little thing. He's frozen. But there's a heap under that little ledge there. There's another heap under this little ledge here. So sick. Look at this little one. Look at him right there. Sitting right there. Go, buddy. He's frozen there. Yeah, look. Where? Right here. All right, this is what we're coming out to catch tonight. This right here is a little octopus. He's actually not that small, man. Let's see if we can get him out of that hole. That's a beautiful octopus in there. One of the best tasting things in the world. So this here is what we've come out to find. This is a beautiful little octopus. It's actually not that small. It's probably gonna be pretty delicious. But an octopus of that size, very, very good chewing. Look at this thing, man. They're an incredible animal. I usually wouldn't do this to such an incredible inquisitive animal, but this is the challenge. We wanted to come and catch and cook a couple of octopus and that's the first one. Man, these things taste real good. They're an incredible creature. All right, I'm gonna put him to sleep real quick. So dope. Look at all of these rock pools here. There is that many. 
there'd be heaps of octopus in here. It's really bloody hard to see, but this is what we're doing. We're just walking around these rock holes with these gidges. We've got one on the deck already with a nice little octopus. I reckon we'll find a couple of bigger ones out here though. We've got an outgoing tide. Look at this, man. So sick. Endless amounts of reef to explore out here. Look at this seaweed, man. It's full just oh, it's... shin deep in this slimy, disgusting smelling seaweed right now. I don't know. Oh, how good does that smell? I wish they could smell this. That's off its head. It's thick, man. All right, we've got a decent... This is a good one. Look at this one, Bruce. He's on the walk. Look at him, bro. There's an Oki right there. That was a horrible shot. What was that? Are you joking? I wanted to get him before you. Yeah, well, what, what are you like? What are you? What? Oh, what? No. Uh, he's still there. He's there. What? No, you don't have to stab it, bro. I got him. Anyway. I got him. Got him. Look. He sucked onto our spears. Oh, that's good. Hey! hey! Here's a good one, man. That's a good, good Oki. G'day, big dog. That's what we come out for, man. He's going to be a good feed. Oh, he's got a hook in him. Oh, You're joking. Him. Look at this. Someone's caught this octopus before. There's a fishing hook right there. Look at that. That's fresh, dude. That's like, that fishing hook's super clean, man. That's like today. He's a good eater. He's a real good eater. Look at this thing. Yes. All right, we're going to real quickly put this thing out of its misery. Yeah, boy, we've got a good one. So that is the Oki that we've come out for. That is a perfect size octopus. You can see the size of these tentacles. They're a lot thicker than my thumb. So he's going to be a good eater. That's so sick. That fishing hook right there, it's fresh, man. We're going to chuck that fishing line in the bin, but that hook's like today. It's very clean. He's a good eater, doggies. Killer. We're gonna see if we can get a couple more, but that is a good start. Look at this man. Yeah, they're sticky, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna be real hard to see this on the camera, but there's a baby cray there. There's another one moving. Oh, he just took off. These rock pools are full of life. Little crayfish, fish everywhere. Psycho, man. So dope out here, eh? It's about. It's about bloody five degrees right now. We're both freezing, but it's worth it. I don't know, man, but it looks like you're... Oh, we're on, we're on. Yeah, it's a big dog, Brussy. Look at this thing. Look at the colors in this thing, bruh. Boy, we are on here. Have a go at this thing. He's coming right up to me. Boy, he's a good one, bruh. Look at him. He's lovely, eh? Really good. Yeah, he's absolute. That is a cracker of an Oki. I don't want to stab you. Oh man, that is an absolute horse. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing, man. That's a really good Oki, eh? Yeah, he's big, bro. Oh man, you're joking. This is what we've been walking. This is what we've been looking for. Big slob like this. Look how long that tentacle is there. This is a slob of an Oki. I haven't even got him with a spear. It's just holding onto it right now, but he's gonna bloody go nuts on me in a sec. Look at that thing, bruh. Oh, he's a good one, eh? <laughs> We're eating good now. That's what we come out for, something like that. He's a good, he's a good one. All right, we're gonna quickly put him to sleep. And uh, that is what we come out for, my doggies. Look at this. This ground that we're walking over right now is oct octopus heaven, bruh. Look at this. There's not too many around. We've been out for about an hour. We've got three, so it's pretty good going. But this is just heaven, man. Look at this. Big pools full of weed, lots of crabs, little fish. It's all happening, eh? Bruh, this is a good haul, eh? Have a go at this. Slob right there. Slob right here. We've got two very bloody good octopus. What's happening right now is that tide is starting to push in real quick. 
So we're um, we're sort of getting pushed pushed in in closer and closer to the shore, and uh, we're just gonna pull the pin. We've got two giant octopus. This one here is an absolute monster, man. Look at the size of this thing. Those tentacles are so big. He's gonna be a real good eater, eh? Look at this. Delicious. One of the best best bits of food in the ocean. We've got two of them. Well, we've actually got three of them. We've got another little one in the backpack there, but that's it. This is what we're chewing up. Stay tuned. Get your bibs, get your napkins. You're going to start drooling all over yourself. We're going to cook these things up a very, very naughty way. See you in the kitchen. Sight! Rolling. Take one. All right, my doggies. Welcome to the kitchen. Now, have a look. Inside this bowl, we have got a disgustingly big octopus. Look at this thing, man. This is the octopus that we caught last night. It is as fresh as fresh can be. It is a beautiful looking octopus. What we're gonna do is what I've done with this octopus already is I've cut the octopus's head off. So as you can see here, the octopus has got no head. We did that out on site when we were catching these octopus last night. <coughs> oh, the cameraman sneezing, camera girl is sneezing. On the back side of the octopus, you have something which is called a beak. Now this is this black thing here. This thing can actually bite you if, you if you're not careful. If you grab the octopus like this when it's alive, it'll latch onto you and the beak actually looks like a cockatoo's beak or like a parrot beak. If you guys can see that there, it is a gnarly looking beak. So you want to get rid of this so you can usually pop it out. You can keep that, you can put it to the side, you can do what you want with that. But that is basically it. You're going to cut off this little section of the beak which came out there. You're just going to get rid of that. You don't want that as well. That's like the outside of the beak. Now, what we're left with is this beautiful piece of octopus. Doesn't get any fresher than that. First thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna prepare the pot. So we're gonna cook this octopus two different ways. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up this little gas cooker. We're gonna have that on a full flame like that. Right now, we're actually fighting the elements. It's been pissing down with rain all morning. It's a little bit windy, but that's okay. Pot on the flame. Next thing you wanna do is get a little bit of red wine vinegar. We're gonna load this pot up with the red wine vinegar. You're gonna get it all in there, just like this. Bang, there's a whole bottle of red wine vinegar inside that pot. Next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab a carrot. We're gonna cut this carrot into threes. Boom, boom. Doesn't have to be neat, doesn't have to be pretty. That is going in the red wine vinegar. Celery, just chop, chop, chop it up into a couple of little pieces like that. That's also going in there. Next, red onion. We're gonna take a red onion, we're gonna cut him that way. We're gonna cut him that way. That's also going into the pot. Garlic, we're just gonna cut off the ends of that garlic. Just like this. It doesn't, it, this can be super rough. I'm just gonna cut the garlic in half, leaving all of the skin on. And we're just gonna give it a little crush. Like that. And that garlic, just like this, is also going straight into that pot. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a couple of these bay leaves. We're gonna chuck these bay leaves, I don't know what's that, about five bay leaves, straight into that pot as well. Last but not least, full peppercorns. So instead of using this as a pepper grinder, I'm gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna take about that many peppercorns and we're just gonna bust that straight into the pot. All right, this is how we are looking in the field day kitchen. All of the ingredients are inside the pot right now. I'm gonna give it, that's already getting hot. You can see it's steaming. And you just put your finger in there. So I'm just gonna give that a quick stir with my finger. Whack that lid back on top. Now, when, you when you're going out, when you if you're ever gonna cook octopus, there is no better feeling than catching the octopus yourself. Me and my mate were out there for a couple of hours last night, catching these octopus, and I'm telling you right now, it tastes so much better if you can catch it yourself. It is easy. Kids can do this, old people can do this. You, it's probably a very, very good family activity, going out catching octopus, cooking it yourself like this. But if you guys look at this octopus, what I've done with this thing is I've run it under fresh water. I've cleaned all the slime off it with my hands. And if you guys are good at counting, you'll notice how many tentacles does this octopus actually have? It has seven. Unfortunately, we're missing a tentacle from the top up here, but we got seven. That's the thing when you go going out and catching food yourself. It is in nature, it's fighting other animals. And um, that's what it is. So we're gonna be cooking this octopus two different ways, like I said. One, pickled octopus two octopus tentacles grilled over a fire. Now, if you look that way, it is about to piss down with rain. So I don't know how we're gonna go here, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack. We're gonna start a fire up, but this should be hot enough in here now. You can just see that that water's getting a little bit hot. There's steam coming out. You don't want it to be boiling. 
So what we're gonna do with our octopus is we're gonna tenderize it. You're gonna grab your octopus and you're gonna dunk it three times into this water. So you're gonna, gonna come down, completely submerge that octopus, leave it in there for a second, and then lift him up. You're gonna see these tentacles start curling up. That's what you want. You're gonna dunk him back in, let him sit in that water for a second, bring it back up. Now the reason that they do this, they reckon that this is what this is how it tenderizes the octopus meat inside. So we're gonna do it one more for a third time. Get him in that beautiful red wine vinegar. Bring him up for the third time. You can see he's all curling up like this. That's what you want, tenderizing. One more, I'll do four for good luck, eh? Wow, it's getting hot, bruh. It's bloody hot in there. Fourth one, bring him up, tenderize that octopus. All right, now we're gonna drop him back down. Now this is the secret. Put it, you don't want the water boiling, you just want it simmering. An octopus of this size, we're gonna leave in there for about an hour. So I'm gonna chuck that lid on. I'm gonna lower that heat down to like sort of a simmering flame. And um, that's gonna be it for about an hour. That's gonna sit there for one hour in this pot. In about half an hour, I'm gonna bring a fork, I'm gonna stab it. If the fork goes straight through, it's probably done. If not, we're gonna give it more time, but it's just a fork, just keep stabbing it until you find that octopus is at a perfect, just to tend, to tend is the word we're gonna be using in this episode. It's gotta be tender. Alrighty, now that our octopus is in the pot, we're gonna leave it there for 45 minutes to an hour. There is one key to cooking octopus and it's gonna make the octopus taste that much bloody better. If you can go out and catch an octopus with your own hands, that is the key. That is the key to happiness. That is the key to everything. You can buy it from a shop, it still tastes good, but it's not gonna taste as good if you don't go out and catch it with your hands like me and my mate did last night. So, with that said, that's in there for 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check it in 45. Down here, we've got some garlic. We're gonna start cutting this garlic up. Next, another red onion. Oh, that was a good catch. Oh, we're just gonna dice this up. We're going to very finely chop up a little bit of parsley. Here we have a couple of chives. These are actually straight out of Mac 10's garden. And here we have a little bit of thyme. We're not going to chop that thyme up. So what we've got down here is a little bit of a, it's, it's a pretty thickly cut up red onion, pretty thickly cut garlic, parsley, chives, and thyme. So what we're going to do is we're gonna open up one of these red jars here, or these <laughs> see-through jars. We're just gonna go a little pinch of garlic on the bottom, sort of a semi-small handful of red onion, parsley in the bottom there, chives, half those chives, thyme. What you can do with this thyme is you just pull a couple of these sticks apart like that and just chuck them straight in, just like this. Now, a little bit of red chili. This is, these are those like psycho hot little red chilies. We're just gonna cut one in half finely, chuck that in the jar, boom. Peppercorns, only a couple, maybe, I don't know, that's a fair few, but we're just gonna lob them in there. Squeeze a lemon, this is a lemon off our lemon tree. We're just gonna, look how juicy these lemons are, these are bloody good lemons. Get a little bit of lemon in there. Oh, yeah, I can smell this, hey, time right now, 12.30 on the dot, so we've been here for exactly half an hour. This is what it's looking like. Oh, you can see it's all curling up. It's getting soft and tender. There's that word tender again. All right, next thing we're gonna do, olive oil. This is premium grade, extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna chuck a bit of that in here. Little bit of white wine vinegar. We're gonna bust that thing in the jar as well. Not too much, that's probably enough there. And then last but not least, this is the little, this is the little cream of the crop, little baby capers. What we'll do is chuck the capers with the juice, it doesn't matter. Chuck a couple of little capers in here. Get them in there. All right, that's it. So I'm gonna do the same to this jar here, exactly the same we've done on this jar. I'm gonna chuck this lid on, we'll give that a swirl around. And that is half of the blend done. That is gonna go up like there's no tomorrow. All right, we've got a good little fire happening down here. Basically what we want is just a nice better coal. So we're just gonna let this, this is like a good quality jarrow, this wood, so it's perfect for cooking on. We're gonna let this thing boil up and get real hot, make a little better coals down here. But over here in the kitchen, 
the power of YouTube, exactly 52 minutes has lapsed. So it's been 52 minutes since we stuck this octopus in this pot. And um, doggies, check this shit out, ready? Pair of tongs and a fork. What you wanna do is, you wanna grab one of the big tentacles and grab a fork. If the fork slide, oh, are you joking, babe? I right, check, watch this again, ready? It's very hard to do. Get a fork, if the fork slides in like that, it means your octopus is cooked to absolute perfection. Now that fork is just sliding straight in with no E, look, it went straight through. Which means that is, again, it's tender. It is a perfect tender octopus, 52 minutes. I'm guessing this octopus would weigh around 700 grams, just off the top of my head. It probably, not, it probably wouldn't go a kilo, be about seven to 800 grams, but this octopus is done. So what we're gonna do is grab these tongs, Look at this. We're gonna take that octopus out of that water. We're gonna slap it down here. And we're just gonna let it cool down in the air. It's cold out here, it's just about to rain. What some people do is they put it into like a bucket of cold water straight away, or they'll stick it in the fridge. But what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna let this thing naturally cool down like this. Probably 10 to 15 minutes, we'll just leave it on this chopping board and let it cool down. But that there is right now a perfectly cooked octopus. Once again, the fork, if the fork just goes in like this, like I'm not even pushing that. The fork just goes straight in and out, that's perfectly cooked, ready? Check this out. It just slides straight in, man. Which means that octopus is cooked to perfection. There it is, doggies. That is our octopus, cooked to perfection. Now what we're gonna do is just grab a knife and we're just gonna take off each, oh, see how easy that cut through? We're just gonna take each tentacle off. This is legitimately right now, slicing like butter. Just gonna take these tentacles off. Each one. Wait, it's cutting so easy, look at that. So we've got the skin on, so you can take the skin off the octopus. Me and Mac-10, we've been to Greece a handful of times. Every time I go there, cold beer, big plate of octopus, that's what I eat every single goddamn day. So you can take the skin off, but in the Mediterranean, they don't take the skin off. They actually leave the skin on. So I'm gonna leave the skin on. The skin is as easy as this. You can just grab it and it just sort of peels off like that. So you can take the skin off if you want, but in this one, we're not gonna. All right, you may notice that we have a little grill here. We had a little bit of rain come in when that thing was cooling down and uh, that fire's just not gonna happen in time. We've got a big rain cloud happening out the back. So we've got a grill here. It's been on for about five to 10 minutes. It is bloody hot. What I'm doing is, I'm getting these octopus tentacles, I'm gonna lay them, listen to that sizzle. We're laying them straight on there, just like this. Then what we're gonna do is, that jar which has the vinegar and the oil, I'm gonna take the lid off that, I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Grab a little one, what's this called, a baster? I'm gonna grab a baster, and I'm just gonna wipe over this beautiful mix which we have here. Now what you wanna do here with this octopus is, this octopus is actually already cooked. We've cooled it down to like room temperature or below room temperature. Now what we're doing is we're just trying to bring it back to a char. So you want to char the ends of these tentacles. So we're just going to keep basting. We're going to get a nice little bit of heat on there. While wow, that's cooking in the background over there, we have got a heap of octopus down here. Now this is what we're going to do on this section. We're going to cut this octopus into just bite-sized pieces. See how easy that knife is going through that? It's cooked bloody good. Once we cut these up into these nice bite-sized pieces, we're gonna open up that second jar, and we're just gonna lob these beautiful bits of well-cooked octopus straight in there. Oi! And I nearly, it was nearly a disaster. So this is what you want to see on these tentacles. You want to see a little bit of charring. You can just see those little dark bits of char there. That is perfect. So we're going to flip it. We're going to do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. This is one of the best foods in the entire world. We're going to keep doing that and we're going to keep cutting up our tentacles. Like I said, it's cooked to perfection. You see how easy this knife 
just slides through this octopus. So all these little beautiful pieces of octopus, we're actually just gonna lob into this jar. I got a little bit excited, I made two jars, but I reckon this octopus is gonna make one jar and three big crunchy sticks we got here over there. So three big crunchy legs. So we're just gonna load this jar up with all the octopus. You see here that there's a lot of these little tentacles or the little feelers are left over. They actually pop off the octopus. So you just leave them on there. We don't want to eat them. But this is our jar. We'll add in the remainders of this jar back on. We'll fill this jar up with that stuff. Because that's got all the good flavors there. We'll lock the lid on top of that. Give him a quick mix up, quick mix down. And that right there, my doggies, is a jar of marinated octopus. You're going to stick that thing in the fridge. It last for the longer you leave it, the more flavorsome it is. But that right there is going to be incredibly good. I've actually got another jar of this in the fridge from the other one that we caught. So uh, we'll open that one up and have a chew. But you leave that in the fridge, the longer, the better it tastes. That there is a mouth-watering feed. Cold beer in the afternoon after a big day's fishing, you come and crack one of these jars open. Tell you what. All right, it's time to take the octopus off. It would have been about four to five minutes on each side on an extremely high heat. You can see the charred coloring of that of those tentacles there one two three octopus octopus is coming down here now this is basically how i order it every time we go to greece it's bloody beautiful down here a little bit of red onion we're just gonna sprinkle that around all over that plate chopped parsley just a little bit a couple of capers on the side there this would be beautiful with a little bit of fresh chili but i've actually put that chili in that jar there that's gonna go there now, it wouldn't be a little bit of fresh octopus without a little bit of bloody vert. extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to give that a good drowning. Bang. Just like that, my doggies. We have got some of the best octopus. Fresh as it gets. It's cooked to perfection. There, we've got a tray of octopus. Here, we've got a massive jar. And we've got three octopus. So I can times all of what we've just done here by three just about. But this excites me after it's been in the fridge for a couple of weeks. It gets real tasty, real delicious. It's time to dig into this octopus. Look at this, how it cuts. Dude. Get a little bit, get a little bit of that in there. Get a couple of capers on this fork. Here we go. Up ya. Look at this. It's gone. It's been chewed and it's already. Right, this actually excites me how well this is cooked, and I'm not talking shit. That is cooked to absolute perfection. Not chewy. It's got a beautiful, beautiful taste from the um, charcoal. Get outside. Catch yourself an octopus to do exactly what we just did here. 52 minutes in the boiling water. Not boiling, simmering water. You will have a perfect octopus every single time. Thank you so much for watching. Me and Mac10 will see you in the next video. If you want to get your merch, field-shop.com, hats, hoodies, all that good stuff. See you in the next one, doggies. Thank you so much for watching. Ow! Another cheeky little tip. If you're ever cooking octopus and you've got to go give it to your family, this is what you want to take for yourself. See these little crunchy ends here? Those little bits there are by far the best part of the octopus. They're crunchy, they're tasty, they're flavoursome. Man, I wish I could show you guys how well cooked this is. I'm actually frothing right now. It's cooked to perfection, dude. It's so soft. Here, open your mop, open your big gob. It's so good, man. That is ridiculous. See you later, doggies. Much love. Bye.